Hello my darlings and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna have a candle wax reading but before I start I would like um, to say something and because uh, candle wax readings they're one of the most viewed um, videos that's why I'm gonna say it in this reading. Uh, I didn't address this issue like before and right now I feel like I need to and um, it will be mostly related to men that watching me. Uh, lately I'm getting those emails uh, that usually like uh, in my description box I put my email for private readings, right? And I get emails from you guys that uh, um, like you offering yourself, you sending me certain pictures of you and um, uh, saying what's your height, your weight, or your name, whatever it is. Uh, let me tell you, this is not a dating site. This is not, we're not on Tinder, we're not on social media, this is YouTube and spiritual channel. Okay, so please be uh, reminded of it if you forgot where you are. Uh, hopefully this message will, you know, give you <laughs> the right idea of where you can um, say those things where you cannot okay and this channel is all about respect and uh, yes it's a bit funny but at the same time um, it's frustrating that some people forget where they are and they feel like they are um, it's okay to send me certain things that I don't want to see okay I don't want to see I don't want to here it's okay if you write to me i mean compliments or appreciation uh, letters that's fine but everything has its limit okay so please remember that and uh, that's one of the reasons i don't put my face in uh, most of my videos because i don't want this situation to happen often and um and when i do uh put my face somewhere sometimes i do small videos like short ones uh, some people even say my uh, looks are very intimidating, so yeah, I'm, I'm a distraction, distraction to a reading. Uh, I mean, first of all, thank you that you feel like my beauty is a distraction in a good way, but at the same time, and again, sometimes I'm like, uh, I don't really understand um, if you watching a reading, why, you know, why am I bothering you? And maybe it's something about you, something uh, triggers you there, think about it. Or just don't watch the readings where uh, my face is there and uh, because some people really want to see me, at least sometimes, because this is my channel, okay? And again, I don't want to offend anybody. Um, I'm just telling you something that uh, for quite some time I didn't uh, talk about. And now I see that uh, people continuously doing those things. <laughs> Uh, and uh, please understand this is not uh, a dating site this is spiritual channel remember where you are and uh, what's appropriate okay that was the message for those who needed to hear it anyways um, today we're gonna have a candle wax reading it's not gonna be affected by this speech don't worry <laughs> we're gonna change the energies here and uh, we'll start you may choose from either pile one I actually prepared for you some stones here. Uh, clear quartz. Oh no, actually, this is a pal. I'm sorry. And um, rose quartz. Basically, gray or pink. And we will start with pile number one. Let's see what kind of messages you need to hear, pile one. Something that um, maybe will happen in a close future or something you need to know today from your angel guides okay i just saw that somebody uh something will be cancelled for you like an appointment somebody will call you tell you okay uh, can we change it or somebody who invited you somewhere will change the date or cancel something. This is just for some. I mean, don't worry about it. It's nothing important that will be canceled. If you have very important meeting, 
uh, this is not going to be canceled this is most likely something um, not important as much wow a nice rose just came through uh, somebody will get uh, flowers or will give flowers to somebody else i see a beautiful moment romantic moment it could be one rose it could be just flowers or um uh, maybe you'll be invited to a dinner or something but it's going to be very um romantic here what else Okay, a group of two, two people will, um, mm -hmm. interesting information, uh, the group of two people will try to uh, stick to you or somehow go somewhere with you or uh, invite themselves to go with you or something like that. Uh, and I feel like... <laughs> I'm not saying you shouldn't go with them or shouldn't, you know, uh, in, be around them, but I feel like they might be very annoying. So be aware if you <laughs> trying to have a good time or, you know, time for yourself, those people wouldn't stop talking or they wouldn't stop asking you questions. So be aware there's a couple people that could be a bit annoying. <laughs> uh, but again, that's not bad or good it's just some information that if you want a quiet time or if you don't want any to hear any gossip during certain day uh, just don't uh, don't take them with you whoever they are mm -hmm. okay I see uh, some of you are uh, don't know what to choose or um, it okay, okay I'll give you several examples if it's a job there are two opportunities that you don't know which way which one to choose you're looking at one the second one you kind of ignoring or it will happen in the close future and at one you looking at one job um, or opportunity you looking uh, straightforward and you like seeing it as this is the one and, and the other one is kind of hanging in there, but you don't pay attention. And the universe is telling you, you didn't consider really those two opportunities. You only considered one. You think you considered the second one, but actually you didn't look at it uh, to the eyes, metaphorically speaking. So maybe you should review your options. I don't know why, but it tells me something you didn't look through. Maybe look again at, um, for example, you, you've been offered a job, <clears throat> make sure you read all the, you know, uh, what you need to do at this job or uh, um, both jobs, because uh, there might be some things that you're not aware of or you didn't expect to be. Uh, I'll give you a very simple example. <clears throat> you decided to be a host in a restaurant. And you're like, oh, this is a great job. I don't really do have to do much. But then uh, when you actually start working, uh, they will tell you, now you have to also clean the tables when, uh, you know, when nobody's there. And you're like, what? I thought I'm just going to be a host and I'm just going to be standing and, you know, inviting people in. This is not uh, the only job that you're going to do. And that's why consider the other one or other options as well. This is just an example. For others, you consider in between two people okay and uh love situation and you're looking at one person that says this is exactly what i need uh well the other one kind of you know left behind and you're like okay um i don't really feel the other one right other option and the universe is telling you <clears throat> make sure you reviewed all your options for some reason you needed to hear it okay what else Somebody who's watching TV or watching something through a screen will soon, very soon, uh, next 10 hours, I hear, 10 hours, will see a certain sign that will be very, very important. 
Uh, it could be in the form of a letter, of a word, of a name of someone. Maybe someone's thinking about you and you see their name over there. That's going to be a confirmation for you. But something you'll see through the screen. I hear computer, TV. Not as much phone, but like... Maybe even um, you're walking somewhere in the city and there is like um, someone's portrait is there. I don't know. Some, someone who's looking like somebody you know. What else? Oh, soon you're gonna be very, very excited about, you're gonna say, love it, love, I love it, I love it, oh my God. Um, either you will get something new and you're gonna be like running around and uh, excited that you have it in your hands. Something new, something exciting, maybe for example, I love this new perfume, I, li I like this new scarf or hat. Some, but this is something like, um, it's not that you waited on it, it's just like it's here. I don't know if it's a gift or you buy it for yourself or you see it somebody, you're just walking uh, uh, like around like stores in the mall, for example. And you see that, oh my God, I want this, I want this, I love it. And you're buying it. Okay, another information comes through. Some of you, I don't know, uh, but for some, it's actually, you know, if you didn't visit a church or some sacred place or your maybe, um, house of your relatives that like or like grandparents some space or place <clears throat> or house that's kind of sacred to you or to your family or to your traditions and the universe telling you please uh, visit place that you didn't visit for a long time or you forgot about another thing i see is a face of your uh, one of your ancestors or deceased ones who are not here anymore they're watching over you and they're worried about that you kind of either forgot the i hear forgot traditions forgot rules or didn't visit somebody of your relatives for a long time please you know give them some attention or again if you didn't pray for a long time in a church or whatever religion you have it doesn't matter It's like remembering your roots. Lighting candles for somebody. Okay, what else you need to know? Pile one, there is a certain woman that's... Um, Again, I see a lot of angels, guides, ancestors that are like keeping an eye on you, hugging you, uh, guarding you from something, some negativity, and they say that they're watching what's going on around and they're protecting you from certain uh, gossip, from certain uh, bad luck even. Uh, and certain things you don't even know just because uh, they guarding you from uh, negative information here. And they saying you are safe, don't worry. You uh, Something that sh that's hidden from you, it's hidden for a reason. You don't need to know about it or you don't need this information. Um, in order not to upset you about and And again, it doesn't mean someone's hiding things from you, but some information is not seen to you for the sake of your health your um you know positive thoughts so you can keep going keep doing your job your work keep taking care of your family your kids your parents whoever you're taking care of 
or yourself. Okay, let me look at your box pile one. Uh, I see some people uh, gifting others like they have uh, two your it's, either it's you or somebody else your hands are full with something with some uh, maybe it's food you're gonna give uh, out food or I don't know if it's a donation you're gonna give or something like that and you're very very happy you are smiling because uh, you know there there is a, some tradition I don't know in which religion it is or um, who has it but I know there is like when a baby is born the family gives uh, food to neighbors to uh, everyone who's like around they coming outside and they're just giving uh, thanks to the universe through some sweets or foods or something like that and I see somebody will uh, celebrate something through giving uh, this donation to others Oh my god, I see two people, look at this, kissing each other. One is a bit lighter skin, another one is a bit, da a bit darker skin. And they're kissing, maybe you'll have a date soon, or maybe somebody will invite you <laughs> somewhere uh, to kiss you. Or maybe you're going out with someone and you're not even aware that this person is planning to kiss you. But you're gonna uh, like it, or you're gonna allow it, or you just... Maybe you already know or you want it yourself, but if you don't want something like this, make sure, maybe, you know, cancel this date because uh, the other person wants to, you know, uh, take another step into this connection. So that's what I had for you, pile one. Uh, let me know in the comments. And I'm going for pile number two. Hello pile 2, whoever chose this pink stone and pink um, ball, let's see, let me put it here, actually I'm sure you know which pile you are, let's see what you need to know, what information could be valuable for you, pile 2. somebody's having exams during the next few weeks or so you are you will be good you will be okay you will pass the exam or pass uh, the exam at least with the high score because I see here you studying you are on your computer um, laptop or wherever you are make sure you don't um, dis get distracted by negative thoughts that you don't didn't study enough you don't have enough time this is all your uh, thoughts and illusions in reality you ready you ready for those exams whatever it is about but you ready or if you have some um, I just heard even if you have some conflict in your, at your work or somewhere about a project or something you got this don't um, blame yourself for anything don't judge yourself and uh, don't underestimate yourself because you got this what else? I just heard pinky nails. Maybe some of you right now have pinky nails or uh, a person with pink nails or something pink on their arms or nails. I don't know if it's a tattoo or uh, something like that will somehow will have conversation with you in a close future there is a person that will have a conversation with you uh, but some one of you will have something pink and it's on your hands or in your hands and uh, the conversation may go uh, start slow or like light but become very very deep I don't know if it's a friendship you will meet somebody uh, is this your loved ones but 
certain conversation will happen. Mm -hmm. Now I see glasses. Um, here I want to say, first of all, for those who have bad vision, very bad vision, and you still drive in a car, please go and check your vision. This is number one. For others, I see that uh, in the close future, um, something that will be in front of your eyes, you wouldn't be able to see. It's like imagine if you're gonna put your hand too close to your face. Uh, you wouldn't, like to your eyes, too close. You wouldn't really uh, see your hand. You're gonna see more like you seen through, but you don't see what's really close to you. I don't know if it's uh, metaphorically, of course, but I don't know what is it about, but something that uh, you seen something that's far from you but you don't see in front of your nose, let's call it that way. And the universe will show you what exactly is not seen for you. And you're gonna say, wow, it was always in front of me. It was always here. But for some reason, it wasn't uh, you know, shown to me. I didn't understand this or that, whatever it is. And you're going to be very surprised that you didn't see it. But understand, everything happens at the divine timing. That means you didn't need to see it before. And you needed to see it specifically now. And maybe it's even going to be a message for you that wasn't uh, that had to be seen exactly now. I'll give you even an example that um, I was driving the same road every day. And there was something uh, written on uh, some of the, you know, wall, wall, on a wall or somewhere. And I never noticed it until I actually had to notice it. And then one day I noticed it and it was a sign for me because if I saw it before, I wouldn't pay attention or I wouldn't give it any uh, attention. And I needed to see it exactly where I needed to see it. So same thing is here. Hmm. Uh, be careful for people that um, trust right away. Somebody may uh, talk to you or uh, message you or somebody and it's going to be a scam. Be careful that you don't fall for a certain scam here. Just for some. Doesn't mean you have to bl blame everyone who's talking to you now. But uh, be careful just for some. Okay, somebody's asking what about the money? <laughs> What about my finances? What about my uh, wealth, uh, my prosperity? And let me tell you, pile two. I see you on a. Um, I see a rocket ship. You know this, like from the movies. And uh, you are in. You are in this rocket, or you are this rocket, right? And you have two wings or two uh, like something something that moves you and the universe is telling you it's like you equipped you have everything but you don't move whatever it means to you for example um, what kind of example I can give you here you prepared uh, like you creating your business right and uh, you said before you just need to hit the button and start like uh, advertising or uh, do do something like to start it's like yes you equipped yes you have everything that you need to make more money or to make money to find a job whatever you're looking for but you're not moving 
is that you ship your racket, your uh, you know body is uh, ready, but it just waits for for the start for you to start to hit the you know um, to hit the start right here. This is not gonna relate to everyone, but whoever it is related to, you know who you are. It's like you prepared, but you're not in the game. It's uh, another example. You are, um, for instance, you are in the army. You know the skills, but uh, you're ready, but you're not in the war to actually know what, what's going on, uh, why you trained for all of that. This is another example. And here uh, the universe telling you it's time to start. It's time to uh, use your skills. Another thing could be you studied, but you didn't, you know, uh, use your skills yet. Or your job is not related to your skills, what you can do. And it's time to start to, you know, use those skills that you have. Uh, I don't really have more, much wax here for you guys. That means not more, no more messages. Uh, for you, so I'll have to stop. Let me know in comments, guys. I love you all. I hope you have a good day. Date? Did I say day? Date? Uh, day or date, whatever it is. Uh, and um, night. I love you all, and I'll see you in my other videos. Bye bye.